Hey there, my name is Colin, and in this video, I am reviewing this game called Coup. Uh, it's one that me and my wife really like to play, especially if we have a group of people over. So I'll just show you what's inside here. I've obviously have an open copy because I've played it before, but these are your uh, counters for how many um, points you have right now, or coins, I guess is what they call them. And here's some of the cards. So you have an assassin card, a duke card, there's another assassin, a captain card, there's another duke, one more captain. So you get three of each card, then you have an ambassador card and a contessa card. So, and then the rest are just all duplicates. And so basically what you do is you get dealt two cards in your hand and you can bluff your way to victory. So each card has a different type of ability that you can do. So this is like kind of your helper card. It's the actions you can take. So you can always take an income, which means that you'll grab one of these coins here from the center of the board and it cannot be blocked or challenged. But then you could also take four and aid, which allows you to take two coins from the center instead of just one but this can be blocked by a player claiming the Duke. So if someone says that, no, you can't do that, I have the Duke card, then you are blocked. But it's all about bluffing and whether or not you're telling the truth. So for if we're still talking about foreign aid, so let's say Amanda takes foreign aid and I have the Duke card. So I say, no, Amanda, you're not taking foreign aid, I have the Duke. And then she says, no, Colin, I think you are lying then she just called my bluff so i have to actually show her that i have the duke card so if i do have it i show her the duke card and she loses uh, a life or loses her card and then if i don't have the duke then i have to show her that i don't have it which means i lose a card as soon as you lose both of the cards in your hands that means you're out of this round and you don't win. So it's a pretty quick moving game. Hopefully that was a decent example, but each of these character cards have different abilities. So the Duke can take three coins, can't be blocked. Captain can steal two coins from another player, but it can be blocked by a captain or an ambassador. Assassin can pay three coins and choose player to lose influence. That means that the player loses one of their cards in front of them. Uh, Contessa can block an assassination and an ambassador can exchange cards. So the cards that aren't dealt, there's three of each card. So like you have three Duke cards, three captain cards, three assassin cards. So the ones that re are remaining that haven't been dealt out, they can be in the middle and you can exchange your cards to get new ones with the ambassador. But at the end of the day, it's all about bluffing and telling the truth or telling a lie. So I could play the ambassador um, the ambassador card, even if I don't have an ambassador, I could say, hey, I have an ambassador. I am taking two cards and uh, exchanging. And then it would be up to my opponents to determine whether I'm telling the truth or whether I am bluffing and they can call me out on that. So it's just a matter of finding the right times and the right moves to make and bluffing your way to victory. It's a really, really fun game. Each round takes about 10 to 15 minutes max. And me and my wife have a great time with it. Uh, it doesn't take much to set up. It doesn't take much to clean up. You basically just get these cards. You deal each person two of the cards in the deck and you start with two coins and then you start playing. Uh, it probably takes two or three rounds to really learn how, like how the game flows because each card interacts with different cards differently. But really, really fun. It's one of my favorite party games to play.